All right, so for this question, it's, it's giving us um, two equations that are subtracting each other. So we have x squared y, we have 3y squared, we have plus 5x y squared, and we're subtracting that from minus x squared y plus 3xy squared minus 3y squared. Okay, if you see this on the SAT, what you're looking to do is uh, the key, it really is in the middle here. The key is in the middle here with this negative. This negative needs to uh, distribute through, translate through every item in this, in all three items in the second bracket. And that's where a lot of people make a mistake because most people would actually, most students would actually multiply the minus and the minus in here. So this first one is going to be a plus. Most people will do that right, but then we'll forget the last two. So the thing to understand is this negative is going to come here. It's going to come here and also come here. It has to affect all three. So when it gets to the second one, it's going to be minus 3xy squared. And when it affects that last one, it's plus 3y squared. Okay. So nothing has changed with the front part. This is still x squared y. This is still minus 3y squared plus 5xy squared. So at this point, you now you pretty much kind of combine everything together. So let me kind of move this in a little bit there. Move this a little bit. Okay. So we look for like terms, like terms, and see you know what what kind of goes together, if any. Uh, we notice that the we notice that the th negative 3y squared here goes with this guy. Right? This is negative 3y squared, this is positive 3y squared, so they cancel out each other. And um, we also see that there is an x squared y and also an x squared y. But the good thing is they have the same sign, right? They're both positive here. When you don't see anything here, this is also positive. So essentially, this is going to be xy squared plus xy squared, which is going to eventually become 2x squared y okay and so those that those are taken care of and now we have this left we have this and this okay because this is 5x y squared and this is 3x y squared minus so this is going to be the plus plus 5x y squared minus 3x y squared again when i look at this it's really the same item you just have five of it here and you have negative three of it so it's five minus three don't worry about these guys it's just going to come down five minus three there is going to be two plus two x y squared because it's like it's like you're saying five oranges minus three oranges i'm just going to call this an orange or an apple whatever your favorite fruit is um five oranges minus three oranges is two oranges so that's the way you kind of think about that so at this point we're done because if you look at the answer key you can't simplify this any further now one of the tricks to answering um sat questions effectively is after you've done work for a while peep through the answer key um, is there an answer key there for a reason? Um, and see, am I close to the answer? Do I have an answer already? Because at times you see students trying to simplify this further when if you look at the answer key, there's no need to do that. You're actually done. So the answer here is C, which is one of the answer selections. That's the answer here is C. So um, just write it out. Make sure this negative translates through and then combine like terms. And then at the end, just check the answer and see if you're there. And we are there. And the answer here is C.